Hey everyone, Peter here, and tonight I'm gonna be making a video on uh, how to check if your computer can run a certain game. Uh, you can also use this for laptops and uh, tablets. I'm pretty sure tablets, just to be clear. So, um, my reasons why I need this, the biggest one is probably that most of the stores will not take PC games back after you opened it because uh, like after you use the serial code it's they're like no you can't do it even if you didn't like install the game but still the box is open they probably won't let you won't refund it um some places might but most of them like almost every place doesn't so another reason is for example you have a okay computer and you bought battlefield 3 you'd know if you can run it you want to figure that out because you don't want to like think it's a different problem spend like an hour trying to fix it and then like you can't play battlefield 3 that sucks and you just kind of wasted an hour to try to fix it but um i even noticed on ebay when i was buying brotherhood i believe it said like refunds accepted if the box is not open within 30 days so even ebay won't let you return now if you find a store that does let you return computer games uh that's a pretty good place but f i'm gonna show this in two steps uh one of them is kind of more technical um a little bit harder but like it doesn't require internet or java the second one is a lot easier it takes like a minute not even requires internet or java uh, and java and i'm gonna put like a little thing in the description or like right here uh what time to skip to if you just want to watch the second step so let's begin so I went on Steam. It's uh let me actually do Dishonored. It's easy because it has a lot of games and uh I like Steam, it has sales. But yeah, so we'll just do Dishonored. And on Steam you just go all the way down. System requirements right here. If you have a boxed copy, um most of the time it's on the back of the box for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood it's um they actually have a spanish version that's crazy uh yeah the game is on english i was about to say i like shit but so yeah but it's um like on brotherhood it has kind of two boxes easy to see the um, requirements on uh, borderlands in the other hand it's kind of harder to find it but it's usually, I think they have to have it, but it's like under the pictures and under the description, it's kind of like, um, I guess in small text. If you look around, you should find it easily, but yeah, so this one requires Windows Vista, Windows 7. Don't worry, if you have XP, you can run most of the games, um, Borderlands 2 and Assassin's Creed Brotherhood only need XP. Um, I believe, I know there might be a way to play this game on an XP, but I'm not sure. And, uh, the processor is 3.3 GHz dual core or better. Uh, memory is 3 gigs of RAM, which is actually a lot. A lot of computers have like 4 gigs or 2 gigs of RAM. So, hard disk space, 9 gigs. Most of the uh kind of i guess modern games they go from 6 to about 16 gigs um borderlands is 20 gigs because it has add-ons and like all those guns you need to load those up if you have like world of warcraft or guild wars i believe world of warcraft maximum is like 42 gigs because the game itself is like 8 to like 12 Plus, if you bought all the add-ons, that's like another 8 gigs each. So, Guild Wars is, I believe, only 16 right now. But once everything starts coming out, it'll be a lot more expensive. So, hard disk space, uh, video card. This is the most important part. Um, DirectX 9, you should have it. I'll show you how to check uh, most all of this. But... If you don't have it, you can just download it from Windows or Microsoft website. Yeah, you can Google it. Or what I usually do is I have on the games. Um, 
a lot of the games have it uh, while you're installing there's like an option it's like would you like to uh, would you like to install or update your version of DirectX um, I click no because I have 10 or little I think I have 10 I'm not sure I'll check but I think I have 10 running um, if you have an outdated one you can just do that and the uh, sound you never need to worry about sound um, she's just kind of useless I mean if you have speakers or you can plug in headphones or you you have sound like for example when you watch videos you're all good this this was a problem like for back in the day maybe like two early 2000 like 1990 because before I, I believe you had a separate sound card um, you could still get a separate sound card just to make your computer like fancy and the sound better but most of them I noticed are kind of expensive and I don't really want to uh, spend my money on that but so you can kind of just ignore that most of the time on most of the games so let's compare it to Borderlands real quick Borderlands 2, oh let me pause this but yeah again just go down uh, as I said Windows XP so respect 3 which just means the kind of like newer version let me drink some water real quick But so this one doesn't require that much 2.4 dual core actually phones are faster than that I believe um, the Galaxy S3 and the Nexus 4 that's coming out they're about 1.5 quad core so uh, yeah they're faster than this or like about the same but memory is um, 2 gigs RAM which is less uh, and even tells you Vista, but same thing. Uh, hard disk 13, 20 gigs recommended. Video memory, um, I'll show you how to check that. But 256 is not a lot. Borderlands doesn't require a lot, and it's like good graphics and everything. And uh, video card, like I said, the most important. The 850 is old. You can buy this for. 50 bucks I believe because my old computer had the 9500 9, or 9800 9, and I bought that for 150 something like that for like 2-3 years ago and right now the 9800 is only like 70 bucks I think so really cheap um, I'm not good with ATI but probably cheap too um, sound so the Borderlands actually gives you a better description and other requirements um, not all games have them so what you want to do is you go to start computer properties and it will give you a window like this uh, this tells you the windows edition service pack and um, it gives you the rating we I'll probably do a tutorial on that later uh, processor uh, I have the 8 core 3.6 so I'm good installed RAM 8 gigs which is not that good like I can play a lot of games but I still want to get more RAM and a 64 bit operating system and that's some stupid stuff but yeah um, to check your video card what you do is you go to computer um, that's my SSD that's my HPC but I still haven't formatted this so it still has Windows on it and um, I can use that or this it's the same thing but I'm just gonna use this so you go to Windows and I need to delete so okay um, let's see so Windows and you go to system 32 now never delete this folder never even like you should probably never even look at it, never even go to your Windows folder. Um, because if you delete System32, you just fuck up your whole computer. Um, let's see, I'm looking for ZX. But yeah, um, you might want to modify some of the DLLs. I had that problem a couple of times. Uh, for games, for programs, like DLL is missing, and then you gotta replace it. Um, 
just that's the only reason you might want to do it if you need help with that message me um, I'll help you out I have a really good tutorial video that I found for that but so just run this GX Diag um, I believe XP had two versions or like one of them yeah I believe XP had two of these because I remember there were always two god damn it I already had one running but yes yeah, so this one this thing tells you more about your computer it tells you the current date computer name operating system language BIOS everything you need to know oh yeah and I have DirectX 11 I'm not sure what page file is um that I don't even think that's hard drive space or RAM so I'm not sure what that is but you want to go to display and it needs 256 I have 4000 so I'm good um this also has some sound stuff uh, usually I just do the display but it tells you the name of your video card so that's good if you don't know uh, it's always good to know so you can download um, drivers but there we go it tells you everything uh, you can do save it's a pretty kind of useful window program thing so now for the easy step and uh, let me make sure the video is still running what is that um yeah okay it is so for the easy step uh, right here so you go to this website can you run it dot com uh you can type this in it'll give you the same exact page except can you run it is kind of easier to remember and what you do is you just type in the game so let's just stick with dishonored there we go um it has most of the games or like most of the popular games at least uh, there is an ad on here and there's like some ads on the side I just kind of muted it but there we go I pass now um if you fail don't just be like oh well I guess I'm not buying it there's a couple reasons that you might fail first of all is the video card always usually um you need uh drivers so you can kind of click here get their program I wouldn't recommend doing this before I remember they took you to a web page but so yeah sound card you also need like sound drivers that's what you need not sound drivers is another problem but yeah so it's usually the video card or the sound card sometimes um you might not have all the information I believe um like but it will still tell you if you pass or fail but so yeah CPU everything passes and uh, what you could do is uh, there's some programs that check your drivers and update them you could just buy one to like 20 bucks I think but what's easier is it tells you all the information or you can use this um real tech we are real tech so that's what I'm gonna remember oh my god everyone's like doing everything when I make videos but so if you want a video card driver so you just go to drivers then you go to NVIDIA and uh, uh, actually just google NVIDIA drivers usually the first link and you can do auto detect sometimes it might not do it for me it used to be like we cannot read your computer like your computer is not compatible I was just like that's weird but you can do it manually if you don't know which one you have like I said use this or uh, use this and just put it in do search and then download um, ATI should work the same way um, sound card is a little bit more complicated but you just kinda look drivers for that and yeah this is pretty much it um, this has a lot of games it doesn't have all of them but as you can see it's a pretty long list I can do like battlefield 1943 um, 
and there you go it has old games new games and it's loading results but pass pass so yeah um this is how you do it if you guys need any help or have any questions or if you want me to clarify anything uh email uh, i mean message me or comment on the video commenting will probably be better because some other people might help you and uh yeah thanks for watching um subscribe like my video and uh i'll see you guys next time